The mines and nukes are overpowered. They seem to be able to kill anything, and with a single shot. The mines are very cheap, and yet cause a lot of damage. I started out with a pro brush, like I saw on one of your videos, but I was unable to perform the duties, so I recalled to start over. After that, I went for a gateway man build I saw Hero use in one of the GSLs, but then I noticed he was going mines and tanks, so I tried to make observers, but the observers kept getting killed because of the Terran scans and the destructive properties of the mines. I decided to use disruptors to try and deal with the mines, but I was unable to get close enough to the mines to kill them. I decided my next choice of action was the Colossus Splash Damage to kill the mines, but that's when I heard the nukes coming in and started to hit me constantly, so I tried for one last drop before I quit, and I was once again destroyed by mines. So tell me, as a fellow Protoss players, is the mines and nukes Imba, or do I suck? Name is Dark Echo, uh, that filed this balance complaint, a North American Protoss player from the Gold League at 2400 and 69 MMR. And the question is simple, are nukes and mines imbalanced, or does he suck? Let's figure it out together. And there we go, Dark Echo versus... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What is this? Why? Why do I live? Why do I live to see this type of garbage? He just wasted 20 seconds of his probe rush to try and stack up his probes. And it took him like three tries. So opponent also was SEV scouting immediately. I mean... They're probably gonna get in, I guess, because you can see that it's it's multiple probes in one. Well, if you zoom in, you can see it, but... This is so stupid. Why did it take so long? Why? <laughs> I'm not sure if Hannibal Barca just wanted to keep the one probe out, or if he realized what was going on. And he accidentally hard countered the probe rush here. Went with 12 probes, got destroyed. Oh no, this is a lot of money that you're losing here. Somehow still up by a worker. How that happened, no one will ever know, but this is just a fantastic start. Goes in for the recall. I love that he stated this as well on the balance complaint form. He said, well, I went for a probe rush in the early game, but it didn't recall. Uh, but it didn't work out, so I recalled, and then I had to start over. Like, it was a, yeah, a minor thing that happened in the early game, you know? One minute and 40 seconds of 12 probes not mining. This is like meeting your, your father-in-law for the first time. When you go in to shake his hand, you punch him in the stomach, you press a button that detonates his favorite car, and you pee not into the toilet but right next to it so he'll have to clean it up later and then when he calls you out on all three of those things you say ah sorry my bad let's just start over like nothing happens like that is not entirely how it works meeting your father-in-law for the first time it also isn't exactly how it works when you're playing a game of starcraft 2 you can't just probe rush for the first minute and 40 seconds get walled out completely by your opponent and pretend that you aren't down like an entire minute and a half because that is literally what just happened the best part about that entire thing was the, the probes bouncing from mineral patch to mineral patch, trying to figure out how to do it properly. I'm a huge fan of this game already. Dark Echo versus Hannibal Barca. Let's go! <clears throat> Factory finishes faster than the Orbital Command. This is also a rare scenario in high-level play. Uh, but then again, I'm not entirely sure if this is high-level play. Well, actually, I'm pretty sure this isn't high-level play, as this is a uh, gold on the North American ladder. Um, so this, <laughs> this Reaper is now going to... Okay, let's just, let's just do the math here real fast, okay? Cybernetic score takes 36 seconds, and the fastest unit that builds is a Sentry. That takes 23 seconds with a Chrono, I guess, 10 less. So, yeah, you, at least for another 50 seconds, this Reaper can attack the probes without ever being caught. You could literally focus on your Reaper for the next 50 seconds, not macro, and you'd probably kill 12 workers. However... Hannibal Barca decides to go for a different strategy. This is the this is the killer strategy in horror movies. Rather than straight up going for the kill, they kind of just circle around, scare you a couple of times, you know, 
and they showed our face behind a window with some weird mess. <laughs> He's predicting where it's gonna come. He's waiting for him. This is like playing Hitman. When you've seen the the the, the route that the AI takes, and you hide hide behind the pillar to then you know throw a, a, a blueberry muffin at them to knock them out or something like that. This is fantastic. Oh, this is one hell of a game already. Second factory coming in. This is all of one base still. Armory as well. And an eBay. You want all the, all, all the upgrading structures, of course. Makes sense. Raven. Is this the first unit that he built a Raven? Classic Raven Rush moment here. So, despite all of this, I think Dark Echo is... I don't want to say that he's ahead, but... It's not behind. I mean, it's up in army supplies. And army value. Four army supply against two. He has a second adept on the way. Yes, his tech is a little late. His bone already has two factories, a starport, and... Oh, look at this. He's trying to recreate Mickey Mouse over here with depots. So Hannibal Barca is not the greatest uh, depot artist in the world, but he tries his best, okay? This is definitely a Mickey Mouse. You, see, you can see the ears over here. This is like his nose, and this is the head. And this is part of his body. With a good imagination, you see Mickey Mouse here as well. <clears throat> anyway, mines coming in, siege tank as well, drilling claws over halfway done, stargate on the way, okay, classic moves here, stargate, and this is one of my favorite things to do as well, is whenever you're building buildings, is to completely cut worker production, because getting a better economy is for losers, the best thing you can do with your money is spend it, rather than invest it into your future, take note kids, this is, this is good advice here, R write it down. On your iPad or whatever you use. You know, I actually much prefer writing things down in a in a notepad rather than, than on an iPad or, or anywhere else. I just, I just can't get used to it. You know, like o online note taking or like a digital note taking is, isn't good at all compared to, you know, just writing it on scraps of paper. The problem with paper is that even if you write in like an, a booklet, eventually like the, the booklet starts to rip because you throw it around. Ideally, you have like something you can write on with a pen and it stores it that would be nice to have like a, a digital book but really with a pen but then it's too expensive to throw around so it also wouldn't work for me god life isn't fair i'll be sticking with my scraps of paper that i lose for now anyway enough about note taking uh, we have what is this seven mines in the main <clears throat> a liberator as well one oracle is out as the double adept makes its way across the map. That's very exciting. Oh. Oh. It's a big circle around here. Is it being controlled or not? Oh. Adepts get in as well. Surely you don't want to finish that against someone that's on one base. But maybe you do. Okay. Oracle comes in. Sees a turret. It's like, hey, I think I can fly into that. Good indeed. Flies into it. Goes back. It's like, hey, turret's still there. But maybe... Oh, stasis ward. It's actually kind of cool. How fast was that response out of a gold player? Okay, none of them are burrowed. No! This was wrong. Uh, this, this doesn't make any sense. I don't even think gold players know what goes on when a stasis ward. This is the first time that Hannibal Barca has seen a stasis. I think what happened here is that this worker was ordered to go to the mineral patch, but Hannibal Barca misclicked and accidentally clicked where the stasis is building. See, I, I think it... Can we see the, the arrow somewhere already? I need to go further back in time. Is, is I think this is actually what happened. Is that he already... This, guy, this dude already has an order. I don't think it's going to be selected. I'm going to keep an eye on it, on whether it's going to get selected. I think... Oh, now it gets selected? Wait, it actually is selected. Ah, but now it isn't. Wait, I need to turn the camera, Kevin. Okay, look at this. Gonna keep an eye on this worker. This is... Yeah, it, okay, it wasn't on purpose. It wasn't on purpose. I was thinking, alright, this is a sick response. Like, uh, high-level players struggle with that. This was a coincidence. Almost made him look like a top player here, Hannibal Barca. Loving the build order, by the way. Cheeky little SCV pool. No, going back home. Didn't work for my opponent, won't work for me. Maybe he doesn't understand what a worker transfer is. It says you only need to worker transfer when you're truly oversaturated. Right now it's like 24 workers against 38. It's 24 workers on, on two base. Like, you can barely saturate your main base if you, you get your gases up. 
What do we have down here? Okay, we have 38 words. This is actually really good eco right now for... Okay. For, 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 doc, for dark echo. And that's beautiful. So here comes the gateway man build he was talking about. He saw Hero do this in the GSL. Now, the day you see Hero execute this particular build order in the GSL is the day I'll quit playing StarCraft 2 because it means the GSL is completely worthless. Because this has not been a very good build at all. Okay, Oracle throws Revelation down. Stalkers, outrange mines. This is, uh, this is easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. There we go. Yeah. Three mines cleared up. I don't quite see the imbalance here when it comes to the mines, but... Maybe I'm the idiot. Oh. Well, lost all four. It's actually also impressive that you managed to send one oracle to the one mine and the three stalkers over here. So you just lost everything that you had. Literally every single unit except this bad boy. But I guess that's about to change as well. No, just one auto turret. Okay, double observers in production. You already have detection though. He specifically stated that he started building observers. But he already has detection and knows how to use it. Because we've just seen it. Ghost as a follow-up. This is one hell of a contain. This is actually one hell of a contain. Look at this. It's mine liberator. I wonder if there's a counter to this. I don't think anyone has figured out the counter to this quite yet. Okay, three more stalkers coming in as well. Observer sees this. Like, oh, that's interesting. Sees the raven and sieges up. So far, not a single, m not a single observer has gone down. That is a problem, though. This liberator is protecting the mine. This is this is double siege, basically. You know, the mines are protecting the liberators, and the liberators are protecting the mines. And then the tank starts shooting this pylon, while these mines also protect the tank. God, it's like overlapping circles. Because everyone is helping everyone, and the Protoss is stuck in there in there in the natural. This is exactly what you don't want. Oh, hi. This is also quite what you don't want. The funny thing is, is that sending in small amounts of units here isn't actually better than sending all of your units. Because the only thing that's shooting is the Liberator. And the Liberator can, doesn't have splash. It only shoots one unit at a time. So if you want to break out, you need to go with everything. Not one by one with six different units. That, that would actually be bad. Now, there are a couple of answers to this. And we can discuss all of them. Um, let's actually do this. Let's, let's have a little game of... Oh... There goes that one uh, observer, actually. Oracle's still alive, by the way. So the, the detection's not a problem. Anyway, let's play a little game that I like to call What Could We Do? Uh, in which we go over the options of what we could do in this particular situation. Now, the first thing we can do is absolutely nothing. We could keep the status quo, and that would be good. We're up 14 workers currently. You're investing into better tech. A lot of gateways. Blink is on the way. You don't have to break this right now. You don't have to break this in the next three minutes because your opponent is not outmining you. He has a planetary at their natural and is building generally crap units. So if nothing happens in the next minute and a half, double thumbs up for you, Dark Echo. You're going to be just fine. Now, the second thing you could do is build a prism, counterattack, and win the game because there's nothing at home. Another thing you could do is once Blink finishes, you blink down over here, counterattack with your stalkers, blink it to this main. You have observers anyway, and you have still have an oracle as well that can provide detection and high ground vision. Also fine. Another thing you could do is blink down with your stalkers over here and start clearing the mines in this area because there's nothing to protect the mines. Another thing you could do is once your blink finishes, is run into the circle, then blink past the circle, Clear the Liberator, then the only thing left is the Mines. What are we at? Like number five or something? Another thing you could do is wait for your robo weight to finish. Get a Disruptor out and start shooting with a Disruptor at the Mines. And then eventually blink into the Liberator and win the game. You could also get units from your Stargate, fly around with a Void Ray, clear the Liberator. Then the only thing left here is going to be Mines and you can clear that as well. There's a lot of things we can do. I don't even think I've quite exhausted the list, but I don't want this entire episode... Just me focusing on a, a moment that happened 10 minutes and 19 seconds into the game. These are things that we could have done. Or that we can do still in this moment. Another thing we can do is move commanding down this ramp into the Liberator to clear it. And losing all of our stalkers in the process. 
technically not even that bad. Because the only thing defending the mines right now is gone. And as I say that, a tank shows up. Well, okay, actually that wasn't great then. I take back what I just said. That sucked. Now, if only there was a type of unit that could go around. Like a Blink Stalker or a Void Ray. And be capable of... Cap How many more units? <laughs> 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 no way i will see that ah, that was great that was actually fantastic so uh, a, a little bit of context again right these mines have been here for the past i want to say six minutes they've killed multiple units uh, most mines at least so rather than sending something out to, to find the mines or blinking down into a safe area or checking whether the area is safe, because once again, the Oracle is still freaking alive, so you can cast Revelation on areas, jumps into the area where he knows for sure there are mines, is shocked by the Revelation that mines indeed are still in that position, after being shot at, waits three more seconds, and is like, wait a second, I need to get out of here before the freaking... Uh, 25 second cooldown of the mine goes off and recalls out rather than just clearing these two mines now that they have shot or clearing every single mine because don't forget you still have the freaking revelation here with the oracle but i guess this recall at this recall does provide good comedic value holy crap this is a fantastic game to watch okay these uh it's three immortals out uh, I, thought I, saw, I thought i saw a liberator on the way okay, yeah there we go liberator about to pop as well a liberator is a real issue Ooh, what is this Hannibal Barca? Turret, of course. And a nuke, now we're talking. I love that this Turret is also being defended by the by the mines. Once again, we have that defensive overlap here of, of the mines and the liberators and the thing. Oh no, can't believe this mine is still here. Who could have known? It's only been a minute since I last flew into it with my stalkers. We got, what? Is this how, he, how he's gonna deal with this? This doesn't seem entirely brilliant, does it? <laughs> I feel like this is a setup. There's no way these types of games actually happen. Like, this, it just doesn't exist. But then again, you wouldn't be capable of thinking of this either. It's too good. Like, only reality can be this dumb. But it's... It is hard to believe that this is real. No? Triple sensor tower on the way as well behind this. This is great. He's just surrounding his opponent. This is the ultimate contain. This is the ultimate contain. Orbital in the main. No gas mining anymore from these refineries. I love it. Two disruptors. Shooting those turrets. Of course, very important. With the amount of air units that you have, you wouldn't want a turret ruining your day. The best part is that it isn't even a full container. Like the prism can still fly around. Disruptor's coming. Okay, here comes the nuke. Warps into the nuke immediately. I think he sees the dot, doesn't he? I can't think it's a red dot. Now I'm going to deal with you. Cancels the robo units. Like, nukes don't work on units that are being produced. You know that, right? I think he cancelled because of that, actually. I'm like 90% sure. Okay, here comes another disrupt shot. It's nothing. Come on, shoot the next one as well. I want to see it. Next nuke. It just keeps getting nuked. This is great. Come on, shoot it. Observer. Hey. Don't forget, Oracle's still here as well. I think you completely forgot about the Oracle at this point. Disruptors, by the way, could probably clear every single mine here. Could clear these mines on the sides and these four as well. I think. Put them in a prism? What's the plan here? Oh, he's going to take out these mines from the side. Okay, so we have learned. We've learned a lesson. Nice. Three mines at once. We're clearing up our third base. Now nuke into the natural. This could be painful, but we also still have the oracle. Oh, yeah, move into the dot. Move in. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> what was the thinking here? Oh, I'm getting nuked by a ghost with 9 HP. Let me F2 move command my entire army into the setup that I've been avoiding going into this entire time. Look at this. No thought at all. No revelations. No nothing. The mind splash actually killed the ghost. Then the disruptors in the prism fly in face first as well. You know what the worst part of all of this is? Is that the game is still winnable. It is... It isn't over. 3,700 resources. 30, sorry, 3,800 minerals. 1,200 gas. My man could be transitioning into carriers or tempest. Could be flying around with a mothership and recall on the opponent's main base. Could fly around with a prism and take seven bases somewhere else. And this is my favorite part. I, I saved this, okay? I saved this. I, I read it already in the imbalance complaint form. I'll, I'll read it out loud again. I decided to use disruptors to try and deal with the mines, but I was unable to get close enough to the mines to kill them. I decided my next choice of action was the Colossus splash damage to kill the mines. That is just a great bit of logic there, okay? That's it. And I, I saved this because I knew it was coming. He said it in the form, but I didn't want to call it out yet. Disruptors have more range than Colossi. If range is your issue with the Disruptor, the Colossus isn't going to fix that. This is as if you're missing everything with a sniper rifle from a distance. And then you use a shotgun because you... Well, because you think that's going to have more range for whatever reasons. Like, no, it's the opposite. They have, you know, it, it's not the case. The Colossus isn't going to fix your range, pro range problems at all. Nice move. Oh! Actually, almost... No, this was a nice move. I wonder if this could have been done five or six minutes ago. Maybe. If that would have been a correct... Look, there's nothing left. And that's all it took. Well, there's also nothing left for the toss now. And that you walked into every mine anyway. Oracle being rebuilt. Colossus on the way. Nukes are hitting. This still technically isn't game over. With the level of play that we're watching, if you clear these mines and you double expand, then you're still up in workers, but almost. Almost up in workers. Not quite, but almost. We're getting close. Really close. Now, Colossus does outrange mines. So now you can go in. Hey! That feels good. Our final stalker also died. That's also real nice. I wonder if he's going to move forward with these mines. Try to go for the kill on the Colossus. I don't think so. Come on, Colossus. Hello? Hello? Triple Colossi at that time. Lovely. Isn't that lovely? What? What is this? We know they just moved there. We saw them unburrow and burrow. What is this? <sighs> and then after not seeing anything, you're like, ah, mine's probably gone. I don't see him anymore. You lose your Oracle, five, six stalkers. Also kill the tank with splash. I feel like the mind splash has killed more units than you actually have here, Dark Echo. This is a ridiculous game. Triple Colossi coming out still. Couple in Q as well. It's still not over. I'm telling you, it's, it's not actually over. This game is completely playable. Like, yes, it's not great, but is it really that bad? Nuke in the main base? These nukes in the main also are not good. Uh, this actually is going to run out of energy. Of course, you can be, you can know that, but it's fairly unfortunate you didn't spot that. Okay, observer being built once more. Gravitic drive. Yes, the issue with the observer so far in this game has been the fact that they haven't been quick enough. They didn't quite rise to the occasion when it came to speed. This is so ridiculous. This entire game is just stupid. Colossus also can walk down. I forgot to put that in the in one of the options. Could have walked down with Colossus and started clearing this. God, there were so many things you could have done. He lost the observer again. Uh, probably because he didn't have the observer speed yet. If he had the observer speed, they would have been capable of maneuvering away from these mines at a way higher pace. I still think this is a winning game, honestly. Like... Supplies are so close, and you so much cash in the bank. Like, all you need to do is super activate the battery, wait for your observer, which surely is on the way. 
Hello? Yeah, it's here! The observer is here. Clear it. Then you clear this. Then you clear this. There's a single... There's no... No tanks anymore. This is it. Hello? What? No. <laughs> I love that in the end everything comes together beautifully like a a symphony written by by Mozart over here oh my god how is it possible that every little thing that Hannibal Barca did in this game was completely perfect is the, the ultimate player i've never seen something like this how many nukes have we had can you see that somewhere I think at least like 10 10 nukes and constant mine aggression and then it ends with this mine killing a prism that is carrying a colossi for whatever reason in the world i think this might actually be my favorite game of all time i don't think i've ever seen a better game this was so stupid double why was the follow-up here two prisms what was, he, what was the plan? I'm just so curious what the plan was. Because I don't get it. Was he gonna fly three colossi across the map? He could have just walked down as well and used an observer to clear this. Then walk into his opponent's main base. This, is, this game was beautiful. Were nukes and mines overpowered? No, I don't think so. I think you had all the tools to deal with it. Every single time you just didn't do it. I freaking love this. I actually freaking love this. This was so good. I think this might be the, the, the actual game of the century. The game of the decade. I want more games like this. I want more. Ah, before I forget it, Dark Echo, you, you literally did everything incorrect. Even after you left, I still think you could have won because you had Colossi, you had two observers with observer speed at this point as well. So you definitely could have cleared these mines down here. There were really no units for your opponent that, that killed two Colossi. Like one tank probably isn't going to cut it. One Raven is not going to cut it. And mines can't really run in and start clearing Colossi if you have any type of micro. So I think you are still in the running here, but... I can understand that you left after such a frustrating moment where you lost your Prism Colossus, Colossus that was going across the map 18 minutes in. Um, but yeah, you, you definitely suck, but you've given me more joy today than I've had felt in a long time. This is great. Holy crap. What a game. Yeah, you suck. Yeah, it's, it's insanely hard. Mines and nukes are definitely not that strong. And they never should deal with this amount of uh, units lost. 17k to 8k. You lost double the resources against someone without any units. Just mines. You lost the static defense, basically. That is great. I love this. Well, congratulations on that loss. Very impressive. Uh, I hope that you can replicate this again in the future. If you can, please send me more replays. You have like a... I'm going to put a priority stamp on another priority label on everything you send me. Whenever I see the name Dark Echo in my inbox from now on, God, I'll start drooling already naturally. You know, saliva production increases because this is a tasty, tasty game. If you also enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully I'll see all of you next time again for uh, more beautiful games like this. And uh, yeah, thank you and adieu.